It's time now for the PHL 4 o'clock news it is. Tuesday afternoon and going into Tuesday evening, March 10th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins and I have 4 o'clock news and I'm done this Tuesday afternoon going into Tuesday evening here. Top story at 4 o'clock is Hillary Clinton announced on Tuesday that it would be or would have been better to use a government email address along with a personal one she used while Secretary of State during the first press conference since the conference erupted earlier this month. The University of Oklahoma, which expelled two Sigma Alpha Epsilon members Tuesday for leading a racist chant, may have infringed on the students' right to the free speech, some legal experts said. In Washington, Hillary Clinton also lambasted Senate Republicans who also penned a letter aimed at undermining President Barack Obama's nuclear negotiations with Iran calling the move out of step with the best traditions of American leadership. Prosecutors in France have opened a manslaughter investigation after two helicopters crashed in Argentina, killing eight French nationals. Johar Zarnev's post on a second rarely used Twitter account might have damaged its defense. Teams claims after that he was bullied into participating in the Boston Marathon bomber by his brother. In Indianapolis, the Indianapolis Colts have reportedly close to striking a deal with San Francisco 49er free agent running back Frank Gore. In Bagasola chat, memories of Boca Ram's murderous spree in his Nigerian hometown hawk, Tom Guran Nanazi sits on the patch of a grass at a refugee camp, sitting in his team porch from a plastic mug as the Boko Haram hawks kids. In Baghdad, Iraqi security forces and allied Shiite militants seized large parts of Tikrit on Tuesday amid reports that works to the Islamic State militants battling in the hold of the city by Ben retreated, security officials said. Hundreds of white police charged at students protesting a new education law, hitting them with batons after a week-long standoff. On Tuesday, as student protesters fight with police while trying to break the police line and let it in. The families of the three London girls who flew to Turkey to join ISIS in Syria told MPs of their anger that police failed to tell them that a close school friend had already linked up with militant fighters. In Atlanta, President Obama on Tuesday signed what he called a student aid bill of rights that he said he would help students deal with a growing burden of college loans. Journalist Claude Sitton, who was set the pace for reporters covered in the civil rights movement in the South in the 1950s and 1960s, later won a Pulitzer Prize for distinguished commentary, died Tuesday at the age of 89. Loretta Lynch, brought the prosecutor nominated to replace U.S. Attorney General Eric Colter, speaks to an Senate Judiciary Committee here in Washington, D.C. Long-term CEO took a step down in June. Bank markets values rise at almost $3 billion. The time expected to cut investments bank. In the U.S. stock market report, Dow 17663.26, down 332.46, SP 500 2044.36, down 35.07, and NASDAQ 459.79, down 82.64. Last month, the Hollywood Reporter confirmed the girl power version of the Ghostbusters movie star Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones to be directed by Paul Fagg. By late January of this year, Elizabeth Radke figured she was pretty much done with Florida as she had already graduated from the University of Florida, where she had gotten her PhD in epidemiology as the scientist of told to remove words climate change from study on climate change. Humans have long been fascinated by chameleons, Change of color to dazzle mates, scare rivals, and cut fierce predators on Tuesday. Scientists say they have uncovered a mechanism of defeat and that the results of their investigation has stunned them. To make way for a new subway station, archaeologists began excavating a graveyard beneath the streets of London. They expect to find about 3,000 graves that date back to the 16th and 17th century. Pfizer's Chantix drug has been shown to help people kick their smoking habit, but it could have serious side effects. Contaminants and herbal supplements found in some of the nation's leading retailers have caught the eye of Attorney General George Jepson when announced today that Connecticut's part of the culture to investigate the industry. Okay, take a look at New England Insular here at 404. In Fairlawn, New Jersey, a motor vehicle accident with an entrapment in Fairlawn on 55th Street. Commandant saying with an MVA with confirmed entrapment and rescue arrival on scene will be put in tools of the work. Deputy U.S. Marshal shot and killed in Louisiana. Northampton Police. Northampton, Massachusetts, motorbike accident, Florence Road. Crash repair back deployment, unknown place, and Boston, Massachusetts, second alarm has been 
Transmitted for box 3327 at 81. This read in Dorchester has two victims that have been removed. One with CPR in progress and one firefighter has also been injured. As being transported in eight digital RIT companies to the scene. Okay, let us take a look at sports news here at 5.405 here. It's D-Day for DeMarco Murray on the 100 players to be set to become free agents today with the start of NFL's New Year. No cases intriguing than the one involving the reigning league Russian champion. The Houston Texans announced on Tuesday that they resigned quarterback Ryan Mallett today to make the return and single call any happier. In Clearwater, Florida, the Phillies are hoping that the second opinion they start recording Cliff Lee's elbow would bring good news and fortune for Lee in the organization. Alfred Peters, James Andrews, analyst that Lee's MRI has resulted in the same results. The NBA has suspended Heat, Miami Heat center Hassan Whiteside for one game without paying Tuesday for his hard foul on Boston Celtics center Kelly Linick here. And tonight, the Boston Bruins will be up in Ottawa. Ontario, Canada, taking on the Ottawa Senators. Game time, 7.30 p.m. Peter Chell News on 406. Time now for a travel report here on this late Tuesday afternoon, going into Tuesday evening here, and look at an evening rush hour commuting this late afternoon. And Route 3 and the South Bonds had a little slow around. The brain tree split. Route 24 and the South Bonds had a little slow around. Route 128, 128. North Bonds had a little slow from 28 and Randolph to 24 and Randolph here. 129 and the South Bonds had a little slow around the arm ramp to Route 24 South. 128 South Bond sold from Route 37 Brain Tree down to the Brain Tree split here. South Face Expressway and South Bond Sides back up from the back all the way down to the Brain Tree split. Tim and Hilton on the South Bond Sides back up from Zekin Bridge all the way out to the Mass Park. Mass Park of West Bond Side is backed up from Ted Wilson on the Logan Airport all the way down to the Route 93 in Boston here. 93 on the South Bond Side is backed up from Stony Square and Somerville all the way up to the Zekin Bridge through an accident on the Zekin Bridge on the South Bond Side. So it's set and delays here. 93 in the northbound side is backed up from Somerville all the way up to the Medford here. Mass parking on the westbound side. It is backed up from Route 120 in Western all the way up to Needham here. 129 on the southbound side is backed up from Route 135 in Needham all the way up to Route 109 in Westwood. 129 on the southbound side is backed up after you pass Route 20 in Waltham. And it's backed up all the way down Highland Avenue in Needham here. And 129 on the northbound side is backed up from Waltham all the way up to Route 3 in Burlington. And Route 120 southbound side is backed up from Route 3A to Route 3 in Burlington here. 129 on the southbound, northbound side is backed up from Woburn all the way down to Route 20 in Stoneham here. 129 on the northbound side from 95 Peabody, a little slow here. To the next on 120 on the northbound side after 95 in People these who expect them in the A's here. Route 3 in the northbound side, a little slow down for the Bill Record stretch. 93 in the northbound side is backed up after Route 125 and Andover, all the way up to Route 110 and Lawrence due to an accident on 93 in the northbound side near Route 110 and Lawrence. So expect some delays here. 39395 a mile in the Granite State. 101 is mile five from Manchester and after Hampton. Main turnback is mile five from Kittery up into the Portland near. And Route 495 in the northbound side is backed up from Buxborough all the way up to Route 2 in Leominster here. And all the highways in Worcester, Milan, fine. And 495 in the northbound side is a little slow around Route 126 in Bellingham due to an accident on 495 northbound before Route 126 in Bellingham. So expect some delays here. Route 495 in the southbound side is a little slow around Route 24 in Raynham. So expect some delays here. In Rhode Island, 146 on the northbound side is backed up from 99 in Lincoln down for North Smithfield. 95 southbound side is backed up from Tucket down for downtown Providence. 95 on the northbound side is backed up from Thurber's Avenue down for downtown Providence. And 610 connector, a little slow on the westbound side from 95 down for Route 6 here in Providence. And Route 4 on the southbound side, a little slow before Route 1 in North Kingston doing an accident. On Route 4 Sapphire, that's Route 4 is a little slow in North Kingston here. James and Newport Bridge will more fine here. And Route 3 on the Sapphire side, a little slow down for Plymouth. And Borden and Sapphire Bridge will more fine. And Borden Rotary on the northbound side of Route 20, northbound a little slow around the Borden Rotary, so expect some delays here. But otherwise, you're good to go on the Cape here. And take a look at the MBTA company. Take a look at the MBTA alerts here. Civil on SL4 experience and minor delays due to traffic here and on the commuter rail.
Okay, Peter Channel News Time, 4.10, and it is time now for a weather report here. But that rain man before 3 a.m. My rear has a fog up to 2 a.m. Low around 39 degrees. South wind about 5 to 7 miles coming on the evening near. Chat the perspective is 100%. New principal amounts between a tenth and quarter of an inch possible for Wednesday. There is a fog before 9 a.m. My rear mostly sunny skies. The mostly cloud skies and grass becoming sunny skies behind around 61 degrees. Northwest wind about 5 to 9 miles per hour with a gust size 20 miles per hour for Wednesday night. Most of the coast got a low about 28 degrees. Northwest wind about 5 miles per hour for Thursday. South sky about 43 degrees. Northwest wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sky is 21 miles per hour for Thursday night. Most of the coast got a low about 17 degrees. North wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour for Friday. Most of the sky about 39 degrees. Friday night, a chance of snow after 2 a.m. Most of the coast got a low about 24 degrees. Chance of space is 40%. For Saturday, rain and snow, iron 40 degrees. Chance of space is 80%. Saturday night, chance of rain, clouds got a low about 30 degrees. Chance of space is 30%. But Sunday, a chance of rain, shots, snow showers to sleep, most of the clouds got about 40 degrees, chance of space is 40%. For Sunday night, chance of rain and snow showers, most of the clouds got low about 25 degrees, chance of space is 30%. Monday, most of the clouds got about 41 degrees. Monday night, chance of showers, most of the clouds got low about 27 degrees, chance of space is 30%. And for Tuesday, a chance of rain or freezing rain, but the sun's got about 44 degrees, chance of space is 30%. Not in temperature, Sunday night, 50 degrees with fair sky. But that's me for the Peter Jones 4 o'clock news on this. Tuesday afternoon, March 10th, 2015. Viewers, you have a good evening. I will see you for 11 o'clock. We'll have a good evening with a good positive attitude here.